Jack and St. Malo are truly a game changer for Chevron. Everything is superlative in terms of size, magnitude, reach, water depth, funding. Jack and St. Malo, two of the largest oil and gas discoveries made by Chevron in the deep water Gulf of Mexico. Reservoirs more than 26,000 feet deep, under 7,000 feet of water. Once the discoveries were made, then it was clear what some of the development challenges were going to be, which included at Jack St. Malo the decision to put a central host in between two fields that were pretty far away. Immediately we had to start thinking about how we would plan the project, how we would really try and build in as many variables while keeping things as simple as possible. Chevron was the general contractor and we contracted to multiple contractors uh, uh, and we ended up with the, the best equipment to do that particular task. We're talking about the beauty of working with people with multiple disciplines, different nationalities, different companies, all different perspectives, facing different issues and you'll be amazed when they're aligned what they can unlock. Unlocking deep reservoirs takes tremendous expertise it also requires advanced technology. A lot of people outside of the oil industry don't realize we are a very high-tech industry. Uh, we invest a lot of money in research and development. Jack St. Malo will have a multitude of new technologies being deployed to safely develop and deliver that production. One of the things that's gonna really help the development of the deep water Gulf of Mexico is the enhanced single-trip multi-zone system that was installed on JSM. The system allows us to individually treat and stimulate the entire reservoir um, over a great vertical interval. And basically, just by moving our tools up and down in the hole, we can actually treat all those zones. So that saves us a massive amount of time, and then it also allows us to individually treat the reservoir the way it needs to be treated. The biggest technical challenge for the facility side was really developing the subsea infrastructure, the boost system. Subsea boosting is essential to long-term success at Jack and St. Malo. While pressure in the reservoirs will initially force hydrocarbons up to the production platform, what happens when that pressure naturally tapers off? Subsea boosting is putting large pumps on the seafloor that will supplement the energy from the reservoir to move oil and gas from the subsea to the top sides processing facility. Subsea boosting isn't new, it's been done before. But on Jackson Marlow, in terms of the water depth, the pressure rating, and the power of the pump, there's nothing else like this in the industry. In fact, numerous technology advances have been deployed at Jack St. Mallow. Some address the challenges of working in water more than a mile deep. Some support building an infrastructure more than 250 miles offshore. And others are focused on maximizing oil and gas recovery. While much of Jack St. Mallow's technology rests on the seafloor, there's a lot above the waterline. At 177,000 barrels a day capacity, the Jack St. Malo floating production unit is the largest floating production unit that Chevron has in the Gulf of Mexico. That production unit separates oil, gas, and water before pumping hydrocarbons into a pipeline that takes them to shore. The four-column hull that serves as the base for the production unit was built in Korea. Transport of the hull because of the size and the weight was an issue. Uh, to address that, we actually had a new vessel built. The Vanguard, which transported us from Korea to the Gulf of Mexico, is the largest transport vessel in the world. The hull was then moved to Ingleside, Texas. That's where the topside production unit was built and then lifted onto the hull. While the production unit was being built, pipelines were being laid to move the oil and gas from the production unit. Upon arrival on site, the semi-submersible production unit was moored in place. Over the next 11 months, pipelines were connected to the unit and the meticulous work of commissioning and startup took place. For the hookup and commissioning, I think people need to remember we're in 7,000 feet of water and we're 200 miles offshore. 
And so almost all of the work is done around this deep water environment where you're picking up pipelines off of the ocean floor and bringing them up to the facility. The work on process safety and environmental protection to make sure that we have the right design, the right procedures to make sure that this uh, asset can be operated reliably, protecting both people and the environment has been outstanding and I'm uh, very confident that we'll have a, a great record going forward. Today, Jack St. Mallow is the fourth deep water development operated by Chevron in the Gulf of Mexico. With its numerous technical achievements, Jack St. Mallow also serves as a foundation for future deep water developments. Jack and St. Mallow will be remembered for bringing projects for long-term technical issues in the lower tertiary. We're unlocking that, and that unlocks a whole new basin in the industry and in the Gulf of Mexico.